Welcome to Lens City. I'm Badebo Shogun Alatunde. Today, I will be taking us through a topic in our mathematics called Modular Arithmetics. So what is Modular Arithmetics? Modular Arithmetics is a branch of mathematics used to predict the outcome of cyclic events. Cyclic events such as days of the week, market days, months of the year, time, etc. So when we talk of cyclic events, they are events that, that goes around and still come again. For example, we have talked about the days of the week. In a, in a month, there are so many days of the week. We have Monday to Sunday. So these are days of the week. So we know that after we might have completed one set of a week, we start again and we have another week again that has all those days which are in the previous week. And that is why it is a cyclic event. So for example, another example is market days. So, so there are some market days that it is being open in some number of days. Example, you can have a market day that is being open in five days time. We can have a market day that is being open in three days time. So all this one, if we have, if we are to now count, if a market is being open three times, three days time. So if we are looking at 10 days time, that means we'll be looking at the market being open for like three times before we exhaust that day. So in this our topic, we will be taking us through how to compute those things. Also month of the year. So in a year, we have 12 months, January to December. So if we are looking at um, what month are we going to be in 21, 21 months time. So these are cyclic events. So we need to sit down and look at it. 21 months time, when will that be? in our calendar so and this is uh, what we call cyclic event so we'll be taking ourselves through we'll be we'll be taking ourselves through the rules of modular arithmetics so what is the rule of modular arithmetics the number one rule of modular arithmetics is this so the modular value must not be greater than the number worked on so let's assume my modulo value. Let's assume my modulo value is seven. My final answer must not be up to seven. So if I'm working in modulo seven, my final answer must not be up to seven. That means I have to simplify anything I get as my answer to a number or a value lesser than 7 because I'm working in modulo 7. Another rule is this. When using cyclic pattern in adding, in adding numbers, you must count clockwise direction. So when we are using, when we are adding using modulos, when we are adding using cyclic number, we must what? We must count in clockwise direction. What do we mean by this? If, I, we, if I'm in Monday now, and we are working in modulo 7, and we are working with the days in a week, and we are in Monday, and we are saying in three days' time. In three days' time, that means I will not go and start from Sunday. I will need to start from Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That is what we mean. When we are adding, we must not count in a anti-clockwise direction. It must always be clockwise direction in other sense when we are subtracting we must count in anti-clockwise direction so when we are subtracting number we must count in anti-clockwise direction so that means we need to count backward so now let us consider example one example one the short end of a clock points to five on a clock face, what number does it point to after 30 hours? So what this means is that we have our clock 
we all know that our clock is divisible into 12 parts so we have uh, we have 12 we have 1 we have 2 we have 3 we have 4 we have 5 we have 6 we have 7 we have 8 we have 9 we have 10 we have 11 and 12 so if our short hand we are told that the short hand of a clock pointed at 5 so let's assume the long hand is pointing this and the short hand is pointing on 5 so this now the question is telling us that after 30 hours after 30 hours what number does it point so this if we want to know the number in which it is going to point so the best thing to do here is that we have uh, the short hand is pointing at 5 so we are going to add the 30 hours so that will be 5 plus 30 so we'll take that 5 to be 5 r and we know that uh, the difference between each number is 1 r so from here we have 5 plus 30 my 5 plus 30 will give me 35 so this is in modulo of 12 so what will i do i will need to simplify this 35 which is our modulo value to the simplest form and that will give me 35 how many multiples of 12 will i have in 35 um i believe that should give me this is minus 12 times 2 and then this is going to give me 11 so the number of multiples of 12 that i will have here is 2 is 2 2 times 12 that is going to give me 24 so if i less 24 from 36 that is going to give me 11 so from here now so that means after 30 hours after 30 hours my short hand will be pointing on 11 so instead of being pointing on 5 my short hand will be pointing on 11 let us take the let us take the practical one so from here if it is pointing on 5 then i'm going to have from 5 to 6 1 to 7 2 to 8 3 9 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 so after after 30 hours is going to be pointing on 11 so you see it will be pointing on 11 we will continue from here in our next class